Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66-day challenge. Today is day 48. So we have been working on sites and landing pages as of late, and today I wanted to show you how you can actually incorporate video into your landing pages. So we know that video is becoming more and more sought-after method of communication, and a lot of these social media channels are actually giving more preference to those posts or those pages that have video in them so definitely something great it's also a great way to convey a message um, much more personally than typing it out on a page or something along those lines so we're going to come back into sites here on the left hand side second to last icon looks like a little website here with a person in the bottom right we're going to click on sites so yesterday i showed you how to create this open house sign-in page so today I'm going to show you how to do something a little bit similar, but we're going to actually add a video to the page. So we're going to click on create a new site. That's going to be a standalone page for right now. Now this is something we could always do on your agent site, but for right now we're just going to do it as a standalone page. So we'll click there and click on create page. Now something that I was thinking about earlier was maybe you're doing a first time buyer seminar and you wanted to invite people to the seminar, give them a short pitch of what it's going to be about, maybe introduce a few people that are going to be there, your lender, uh, your title company, insurance, inspectors, etc. cetera. Um, but you really wanna have a strong call to action with the invitation and have them register below. So that may be a great way to add video. So in order to do that, we're going to first drop in our branded header here at the top. Right? And then second, you'll see down here on the right-hand corner, there is video. Okay, so we're just gonna drag that over. And that's where we'd have our video. And then we wanna drop in our lead form below that because that's where they would sign up to attend said seminar that we're discussing, right? And then let's go ahead and just put in the legal footer down here at the bottom, okay? So we now have four basic widgets that we need to configure. So we're gonna click on configure widgets first in the bottom right hand corner. And the first one obviously is our branded header so we can click on that. You can see we do have the opportunity to create a header text just like we did on the open house yesterday. So we might just put in first time home buyers seminar. Let's see if that's gonna be enough characters, nope. First time home buyer seminar. There we go. Sometimes you got to get creative. So we'll put that in. All the rest of this information again defaults to no dashes. And I'm just a dash kind of guy. So I'm going to put in the dashes. And now you can see that the top, our branded header, has been configured. So I'm going to click on the arrow at the very top here to go to widget number two, which is our video widget. And so I could put something in the headline here that said, uh, learn more about the home buying process. And then we've got the description. So I could put in, it says enter description or leave blank either way. Um, so uh, watch this short video to learn more about um, what Summit Property Group will be presenting during its first time home buyer seminar. If you're interested, please register below. All right, so I can put that in. Next, it's gonna say, what's the video source? Okay, so we're we using a video URL or are we going to upload a video? Um, right now, I haven't seen that upload video is working. If it is, it might be that the videos that I have tested a couple of times might be too big. So we're going to go ahead and use a video URL. Um, I could basically upload my video that I had previously created onto YouTube or Vimeo or something similar. Um, here is our video from yesterday. So I am just going to, oops, that's not what I want. There we go. I'm going to get that link from YouTube. So this is yesterday's video and I'm going to come back to the page. Whoops, here we go. And I'm just gonna put that video URL right there. I'm just gonna paste that in. And then I'm gonna click on save and apply. And all of a sudden now you can see that we have the header for the video. Here's the video embedded. And here's that description down here at the bottom. So now I'm gonna click on the right arrow to go on to the next. And here's the form header text. Again, it's not interested, let's talk. I'm just gonna change that to, um, to attend. Seminar, please 
register below. Okay, I'm gonna click on save and apply. And now they have a registration form. To attend the seminar, please register below. And then finally, we'll go to the fourth widget, which is the legal. We know all of that is set and good to go. So I can click on save and apply. I'm gonna come up and change the name of this template. And I'm gonna change it to first time home buyers. Oops. Seminar, and let's just call that Q1. Okay, so now everything is finished and I'm good to go. I'm going to go ahead and click on publish a page. It says, Would you like to publish this? I'm going to say yes. All right, so it says now the landing page has been created, and here it is. Here is our slice of the pie, if you will. This is our URL from the internet where this page is going to be housed. And if I click on it, it's going to take me directly into the page. Now, this CAPTCHA is showing up, but it, it doesn't really impact anything. I can click on play, and immediately it begins playing the video Good from evening, YouTube. Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command. So if you had a video there created where it was basically you introducing your home buyer seminar or whatever it is, right? We're just using that as an example. That could be a short and sweet video where you talk to people about what you're offering and then encourage them to register for the seminar below. And then all they have to do is come down here to attend the seminar. Please fill this out. And they're going to click on I'm not a robot and they're going to submit their information and then all of a sudden you're going to receive that information into command so a great way to um, really start you know kind of building out whatever it is that you're doing you could be doing giveaways you could do first-time homebuyer seminar you could just again we talked yesterday about advertising a listing etc uh, what I'm going to teach you guys tomorrow is kind of combining worlds we've talked about campaigns for quite a while earlier in I guess that was probably end of last year. That seems so weird to say that. Uh, but back in 2019, we were teaching on campaigns. So I'm going to show you how to actually link this landing page to your Facebook ad so that you could then start running ads and have people land on this page to register. So that's tomorrow's challenge. Hope you'll see me then. And uh, as always, I look forward to talking to you at that time. Guys, hope you had a great weekend. Talk to you tomorrow.